this video, I'd like to talk a little bit about carrying lots of stock with you to a photo location. Now, in order to make that happen, you need a proper backpack. Now, in this video, I'm going to compare two backpacks made by Lopro. The first one is the uh, Lens Tracker 600AW2, a, uh, a backpack designed for carrying primarily one single super telephoto lens with a pro grade body attached to it and some other accessories. And the other one is also made by Lopro. And this is the um, CompuTracker 600 AW, uh, which is designed for carrying a super telephoto lens together with some other stuff, lenses, flash units, accessories, you name it. So, I'm going to compare these two backpacks for you. Now, we all like to travel light, but sometimes it happens that we want to take some more stuff with us or we have to take all of our stuff with us. Now, what you can see in front of me can easily fit into, into the CompuTracker 600AW. Now, we have the 600mm F4 VR. We have the so-called Holy Trinity, the 70, the 70 to 200 two-way VR, the 24-70 uh, two-way and 14-24 to two-way together with some 105, 2.8, and 24mm 1.4. We have two teleconverters, Nikon D3, Nikon SB900, Canon G12 compact camera, some accessories like the uh, remote controls, um, batteries, obviously filters, battery chargers, we also have some analog stuff with us. This is the medium format Bronica ATRS um, with some pixel focal length lenses uh, and three film packs. Now we also have a laptop computer, an external optical drive, an external hard drive, and some other stuff like Card readers, MP3 players, battery chargers, binoculars, tracking poles, and if you're serious about mountaineering, especially in the winter, an ice axe. Also, what we have here is a tripod. This one is the Manfrotto 055 X Pro 4 with the 405 gear and hat. Okay, so we'll start with the uh, Lens Tracker 600AW2. Now, as you can see, this is a relatively slim backpack. When I put it on, and turn like this, you cannot see the backpack actually. It's so slim. It looks like this from the side, on the back. From the other side, and it's really comfortable. Obviously, right now it's empty. Now, the backpack opens this. It's a huge lid that contains six memory cards pockets. Obviously, it is very spacious inside because it is designed primarily to fit one single huge telephoto lens with a body attached. It comes with a divider, a square, big, soft divider that you can use, I'm going to show you just in a moment, you can use it for separating uh, the uh, body, the main setup from some other stuff that you can also put in a main compartment. Now the main compartment is also equipped with the uh, lens collar in two, it comes in two parts, one part and the other part. And the other part is actually shaped like this to accommodate uh, this part of the lens that comes uh, near the body. Okay, here I have my 600mm VR, F4 VR, with my Nikon D3 attached. The lens hood is in a reverse position right now. And obviously, the front of the, of the lens is covered with a soft 
Oh, cover. I'm going to put the setup in here. Put all the straps in there too. It fits exactly like this. And here we have some more room, still some more room for some other accessories. And this is exactly where, in, uh, where the, uh, the divider I told you about comes in handy. You actually attach the divider like this. And now what you can do, you can actually put some more stuff in here. Say, for example, you have teleconverters. You can put them here. You have a battery chargers. You can put a battery charger. You have some soft pouches for lenses. You have some small lenses. Or you have a binoculars. You have binoculars here. So you can put binoculars next to the lens itself. Now the binoculars, in this case, this is a Nikon Monarch. 12 by 56, 5.5 waterproof. Now this is the binoculars. Uh, you know this is this is soft. This is very. Uh, this is not something that you can actually scratch your camera with. So without any fear whatsoever, you can actually put it there. Say you're a bird watcher, whatever. You can put it there. Okay. And you close the lid. You pay attention. To the way it actually fits, that the, the lens collar goes into the uh, the inside of the of the of the backpack, so it actually goes exactly here, exactly in the at the place where the uh, where the bayonet is. Okay, when the bayonet mount on the lens is, it should go like this. Now the camera and the lens. Is secured, they do not move inside, and this is the way it looks with a camera and the 600mm f4 VR inside. Now, up front, we have some additional pocket, it is very spacious. I would say that actually it would fit an additional pro grade body like Nikon D3, Canon US, One DS, whatever. Right here. Obviously, you can put some other stuff in here. Inside, you will find one zip, one zip pocket. So you can put, say, your wallets, documents, whatever, something that actually is important and should be protected additionally with the zipper. Besides this pocket on the front, you have two pockets here and one big pocket there. Those are pockets designed for some slim objects like for example the, uh, the filter, the 52mm filter that goes in the rear of the, uh, of the super telephoto lens so I can put it there too. I have my two spare battery packs for Nikon D3 so I can put them there. And I also have the additional filter that slides into the rear of the of the telephoto lens and the UV filter, for example. So I can put it there also. Okay, on the side of the of the backpack, you have uh, you have some tripods tripod straps that you can use actually to attach your tripod. You also have a removable tripod foot, so you can actually. And, um, fix your tripod to either of the, of the two sides of the backpack. It doesn't really matter because you can remove the foot. It's a hard structure, very durable, and you can actually position it wherever you like. Okay, 
So now we have our tripod attached to our backpack. Now, Low Pro utilizes the uh, so called, I can't remember, but it's like slip lock system or whatever. Well, this is the system of the, of the loops on the sides of the backpack used for attaching uh, additional accessories like lens cases, for example. And since you can basically carry one single lens inside the backpack, you carry some additional lenses on the sides of the backpack. In this case, in the case of the Low Pro Lens Tricker 600AW2, you can actually carry, let me see, you have three loops here and three loops here on each side of the backpack. That means that you have six here and six here. That gives you 12 loops to attach to attach accessories. Now, with the tripod here, it is impossible to use all of them, but it is actually possible to use four of them. So that means that, for example, if I have some lens cases here, I can attach one of them here, and the other one, for example, here. All right. I can also put more lens cases, like one, two, three, four, and five, six, and maybe seven and eight. Also, you can use the loops on your shoulder straps. You have two loops on each of them. That gives you two more lenses. And also, you have two loops on each of the wing on each of the wings of the, uh, of the waist belt. That means that if you utilize all the options of attaching the lens cases to the backpack, it gives you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve additional lens cases on this backpack. Now, that would be some load. That would be really heavy. Well, depending obviously on uh, what kinds of uh, lenses you're going to carry with you. But it doesn't really, uh, uh, they, you know, they don't need to be lenses. You can you can actually some they can carry some other stuff like cell phones. Uh, I don't know some you know small pouches and cases for for accessories on on, on this backpack. Now this is the. Um, shoulder strap and it can be it can actually transform your backpack to an ordinary bag that you can actually carry your shoulders all distances obviously so you can carry it like this you can carry it like this okay it's not comfortable but still say at the airport Whatever, just quickly, you know, transport the uh, the bag. And of course, you can attach the uh, shoulder strap to either of the uh, of the two sides of the backpack. All right, so this is the Lens Tracker 600AW2. Now, a few words about the suspension system. Now the suspension system is very uh, flexible in, in a way that it can be adjusted to your needs, to your depending on the, on your body build, body build. And actually, Loper designed something like they call pack jack tool. It's a piece of plastic that is used for separating the Velcro Velcro because the, the Velcro is used to hold the harness in place. Okay, once you have that separated, you can actually adjust the height 
the position of the back plate that holds the, uh, the shoulder straps. Okay, so we can actually adjust this also. Once you have that adjusted, you remove the pack jet tool, you press it so it's fixed in place, and you store the pack jet tool in the sleeve, special sleeve, just in between the harness and the backpack. Okay, now you have lots of other options for adjusting the harness. Like here, you have some cinch straps above your shoulders, you have uh, a sternum, uh, sternum strap here, it's also fully adjustable. You also have an uh, emergency whistle here, the sternum strap also here can move up and down. The waist belt, in this case, can be removed to air. You can wear it separately and put some lens cases on it, for example. It's fully adjustable. You can adjust everything in here. The uh, distance of the back of the, of, the, of the wings on each side from the backpack, for example. Obviously, the belt, the length of it can be adjusted. No problem whatsoever. Same with the uh, sternum strap. So it's fully adjustable. It can be actually adjusted to, I would say, anyone. Okay, uh, and the last thing is actually the, uh, the carrying handle, obviously. And the last thing that I would like to talk about is the, because this is the AW series backpack, so it means this is the all weather cover. Obviously, it gives you some extra protection from elements, from the elements like the moisture, um, say rain, snow, dust, whatever. So you can use the um, provided, provided all weather copy of the backpack. And as you can see, this has some major drawback, namely, if you have some additional accessories mounted or fix it to the backpack, it won't actually cover uh, the landscapes and whatever you are carrying on the backpack. It will only cover the backpack itself. So you have to uh, remember about this when buying this, if this is a serious issue with a backpack and with you, uh, if you want all your equipment to be covered, if necessary, this backpack is not so good for that, you know, because this all-weather cover fits only the backpack itself. It does not fit the tripod, it won't fit uh, the additional lens cases uh, attached to it. So you have to remember about that. But otherwise, this is a great backpack, great transportation backpack. If you are, uh, say, a nature photographer, if you're shooting birds, for example, if you're a sports photographer, and if you need to carry just this big telephoto, super telephoto lens with you, this backpack is for you. This backpack is designed for you. So this is the uh, Low Pro Lens Tracker 600AW2. Now next I'm going to talk about the Low Pro CompuTracker 600AW. The uh, Low Pro CompuTracker 600AW. As you can see, this is a huge backpack. This is the biggest of the three because it comes in three sizes. Um, the 300, 400, and 600. And this is the biggest one, the 600 version. This backpack comes in black and mica. This is mica, obviously. And it is different from the previous one, from the uh, Lens Tricker 600 uh, AW2, in the way that it actually holds 
Uh, the 600 millimeter F4 VR inside, uh, plus it holds all other items like additional lenses, uh, flash units, accessories, whatever you name it, also inside. Uh, you can actually do some other stuff outside of the backpack, uh, like tripods, uh, trekking poles, ice axes, for example, whatever. Uh, but you have limited capability of attaching uh, the uh, lens cases, for example, like we did before. Uh, you can attach them to the uh, shoulder straps, one here and the other one here, and also to the, uh, to the waist belt. You can attach uh, two additional accessories on each side of the belt. Let's talk about harness. Uh, the harness system is uh, similar to um, to that uh, to that from the to that of the uh, um, lens tracker. It also has the um, pack jack tool. It's exactly the same uh, as before as with the lens tracker, and it is also used for the very same purpose, namely to adjust the height of the shoulder straps and on the harness. So you put it there, you separate the Velcro of the harness from the backpack, from the plate, from the back plate actually, and you can adjust the height, the position of the, um, of the shoulder uh, on the shoulder straps of the harness itself. And as before, exactly exactly as before, once you have that done, you remove the pack jack tool, you press it so that the Velcro comes in contact with the, uh, with the, with the harness, and you put the, uh, the pack jack tool in between the harness and the backpack, there's a, a room for that and you're good to go. Obviously, as it was the case with the lens tracker backpack, also in here you have the uh, capability of adjusting the length of the, uh, of the harness, uh, of the shoulder straps. Also, you have multiple adjustment points actually, just exactly as it was the case before with the lens tracker. Uh, you also have the uh, adjustable, fully adjustable Stern strap, both of the other parts move up and down on the shoulder straps. You also have the emergency whistle in here. I'm not going to whistle again, but trust me, it works. And you have the adjustment points here and here. You also have the uh, adjustment points on each side of the, uh, of the backpack here, down there. The belt, obviously fully adjustable. And what's interesting about the belt, exactly, same it was the case with the uh, uh, with the lens tracker, it is removable. Okay, so you can actually wear it around your waist. Okay, use it as the uh, Loper calls it utility belt. So you can actually adjust, uh, uh, attach some additional accessories to it, like the lens cases, some pouches for accessory, whatever. And it's also great for air travel because sometimes, uh, well, it is really, it may become difficult to um, to put it on, say, in the over uh, overhead compartment in the pl on a plane or at some uh, airports you can actually check for yourself if your uh, if your luggage is, uh, uh, is good to go with you on the plane in the overhead compartment so you have these uh, you know metal baskets that you can put your uh, luggage into and see if, if they fit if they uh, you know fulfill uh, if they are good with the requirements of the airline uh, the particular airline that you're traveling with so um, you can remove the belt, okay, put it in the, uh, in the cargo luggage, whatever. 
Uh, also, you have multiple uh, cinch straps around the backpack, like here and here, and also on the other side. We cinch them tight and compress the backpack so it's actually smaller. A lot of people claims that this backpack, although it is, it seems very big, and it is, you know, actually very big. Uh, it is good for air travel. Now to make that more believable, I would say, and it's also worth mentioning that you can remove the uh, the top cover, okay, the lid, okay. It actually uh, offers extra protection for the back, okay, extra security to get to those zippers in here. But it also serves another purpose, which is kind of cool. When you remove the cover, it serves as a uh, because it has the uh, belt, built-in belt in here. It serves as a as an anchor to belt pack, so you can actually wear it around your body like this. You can put some extra. Um, uh, camera body in here or some lenses, whatever. Also, you can attach some accessories like uh, lens cases to it. So it's kind of cool. It can also be removed so that the backpack becomes relatively smaller, and uh, it may be an issue uh, with the airline travel. That's why you have that opportunity, extra opportunity, to remove this from the backpack to make it smaller. Also, and it's also good to sit on because this is a very durable fabric, and it's uh, weather resistant to the point that it allows you to to sit on some wet surface, whatever, and it's very soft. Okay. Now this backpack is really cool in a way that actually it, is, it fits all your gear inside. Okay. Now the zippers around, the main zipper is actually splash proof. It's a plastic cover splash proof zipper. You have this U-shaped handles for the zippers, good to operate in lofts. And it actually reveals a huge loading compartment. Now, this is fully customizable. You can actually customize the interior of the backpack the way you really want it to be. Uh, you can uh, remove the dividers, you can place them, whatever you like. You have extra pouch uh, in the inside, inside the, uh, the backpack for some extra accessories, uh, some small items that you do not want to you know, fly around the, the backpack. The lid on the backpack contains some multiple um, pockets for uh, small items like cords, cables, memory cards, uh, you know, films. For example, if you're using, you know, if you're shooting on low, like you know, I shoot uh, a medium format, analog medium format, so I put you know the rolls of, of 120 films in here. So it's kind of useful, it's a huge lid that offers lots of storage opportunities. And uh, as it is in the case, very often, as it is the case with low pro uh, products and backpacks, the zippers, the metal parts of the zippers are covered, okay, they go inside this cover, so you do not have, uh, you do not have to worry about your equipment being scratched. Uh, by the metal parts of the zippers. Okay. So we have this. We have the compression straps. It's actually rubber in here. Okay. And now we can fit 600 millimeter lens. Uh, without the body, without the body goes separate. Okay, and 
we can put it right in here. We use the uh, compression straps and that offer additional security so that the lens does not move around the back tank while we are carrying it. It looks like this. It sits nice and comfortably here. And as you can see, you can put some more stuff around it. Okay, you can put uh, in a, a, a body, like the Nikon D3 body, for example. You put it there. You can close it. All right. On the sides of the backpack, we have a huge pocket that holds it memory cards and contains two large D spacious pockets for a hard drive. They can also fit an optical drive if you happen to have a laptop computer which is too small to have its own optical drive so you carry a separate one so you can carry um, the two like this. No problems whatsoever. Those are really good pockets, very big pockets for carrying items like this. Also, you can carry a battery charger if you're not carrying anything like drives or whatever. You can carry a battery charger, whatever, here. It's very spacious, very roomy. The Nikon polarizing filter fits nicely in there. Lee or Sing Ray or talking, uh, you know, filters, whatever. It's really good to go. It's, it's, a, it's a great, great thing to have it. Here's a tripod sleeve that you put your tripod into. Okay, it goes like this. And you use the uh, same straps or the compression straps. Mount the tripod to secure it and hold it in place. Oh, by the way, it also has the capability of uh, you can put the um, 15 inch laptop computer in here. It's a, there's a special sleeve for that. compartment that holds a hydration system, low pro hydration system. Now as you can see, you can see this blue pipe, flexible plastic pipe that comes out of the uh, on the sleeve. This is this is a part of the of the um, hydration system. Looks like this. It can hold uh, according to low pro 70 ounces of, of liquid of water. It's actually two liter uh, bladder. It actually it goes to a special bag inside the, uh, the pocket. When you close it, you put the pipe. There's a special opening from the from the uh, from the uh, pocket. You put the pipe through it. You can actually. Put it through here also, so it holds nicely and neatly to the um, to the shoulder strap. So that's a pretty neat thing. That's a pretty nice thing. Uh, you can also transport your tripod uh, front. For this, you use also the same straps, and you also have the um, the tripod foot. Removable, so you put your tripod in here through this part of the backpack and just cinch it tight to the uh, to the front of the back. This straps are used for carrying sleeping bags, tents, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. A tripod can also be attached to the bottom of the of the bag. 
So actually there are at least three uh, places and that's on this bag that you can use for carrying your, uh, your tripod or monopod or whatever. You can also use this if you're carrying your tripod uh, on the side of the backpack. You can use this uh, place to store the uh, to, to store the uh, the trekking poles, for example. Also on the at the very cover the top cover of the of the bag contains two large pockets that you can use to store your personal items, maps, guides, whatever. What's great about this bag is uh, the hand or the handles. You know, you have the uh, basic primary handle that is positioned on top, like with every, every other backpack. But you also have handy things like this here. And they can be very useful when, you know, putting the backpack out of the trunk of your car, for example, or putting it out the overhead compartment of the plane. So those are positioned on both sides. They are very sturdy, very sturdy and uh, very robust built handles. It has the um, all-weather cover. The all-weather cover is accessible through this part of the backpack. And it's really huge. You have this all weather cover that obviously provides you with some extra protection from the elements. As you can see, it covers the back. Well, now I'm going to show you how to fit as much of the, uh, the stuff that I have in this backpack. I'm going to try to fit all that I have, including my medium form and analog uh, Bronica DTRS, together with the uh, digital equipment. And it is comfortable. It is heavy. 
I'm not saying it isn't happening, but I can live with that. Okay, and it looks like this, fully loaded. I'm not sure, you know, about the weight of this thing right now, but it's like, well, it's at least 25 kilograms. That's 50 pounds at least right now. So, for outdoor photographers who really need to carry lots of equipment to their studio location, I think the Low Pro Comfy Tracker 600 AW as uh, uh, I think is the only choice right now for uh, for this uh, this much of equipment. You know, I just uh, can't really think of any other option to carry that much stuff with me anywhere. Like I said, it's uh, my analog and digital equipment. Lots of lenses, lots of accessories inside this backpack. It is heavy, but if you really have to carry much weight, much stuff with you to the location, then it's, I think, is the only choice. Low Pro Compu Tracker 600 AW. And this is compared to this. Now remember, these two backpacks are really heavy duty expedition backpacks. Now, with the exception, with the difference that uh, this one is designed primarily for carrying one super telephoto lens up to the size of, I guess, I guesstimate right now, it's like 800 5.6. But I can easily carry a 600mm uh, F4 VR in here with a pro grade body attached. With, with no problem whatsoever. Any additional stuff, any additional lenses must go outside in lens cases. With this backpack you fit everything inside and you use your all-weather cover to protect your entire gear. Remember that you cannot do it with this one. You can only use all-weather cover for the backpack only because it will not uh, actually cover the, any extra additional lens cases that might uh, find their way on the outside of the backpack. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.